first phase of the African Union program. This period will be especially important given the ongoing hostilities in the region, including instability in Sudan and the persistent threat of Al Shabaab. I've been encouraged to hear of the continued success of the current phase of Somali led operation against Al Shabaab in central Somalia. Our cooperation on these operations is, cru is crucial, and we stand ready as your partner as you defend yourselves against these dangerous and violent forces. Our security cooperation is vital in other areas, too. That includes effective responses to climate shocks, such as the current drought, which has meant so much hunger and devastation for your people. Mr. President, I also appreciate the transparency of your security initiatives and the inclusion of key international partners in the planning of the Somali-led transition as we look to 2025 and beyond. I remain grateful for the willingness of your government and your people to host our forces in Somalia. Mr. President, let me thank you again for your administration's leadership to drive progress on these key security issues. Again, it's great to have you on the and I look forward to today's discussion. Over here, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary. For me, it's a great pleasure and honor visit here at me and uh, thank you very much for giving us this opportunity to come and share with you about the situation in Somalia. Mr. Secretary, as you are aware, Somalia has been in a very unique situation for three decades. And throughout this period, the United States has been with us at different and different times. It is a very prolonged situation, but now is the time that we ever had the hope that uh, this is going to end at, uh, soon. I would like to extend my gratitude to the United States government for its strategic partnership with Somali people in our fight against Al Shabaab as well as the provision of critical humanitarian and development uh, support. We recognize the defeating of Al Shabaab requires more than capable and effect forces, but also an inclusive state building process and ability of the state to provide critical services to the public. My administration has made strides over the last year in these areas. For more than a decade, successive Somali administrations, including my previous one, we were not able to reach political agreement on thorny issues of the state building due to the fear of failure or lack of commitment or many other reasons. Since my election, we held six successive National Consultative Council meetings that resulted in a consensus agreement with the federal member states on power sharing, judicial model of the country, fiscal federalism, national security architecture, and the electoral model of the democratic Somalia. The Somali National Army has recovered more than 70 locations from Al Shabaab in partnership with local communities over the last year. The investments in the SNA Dana Bill program have resulted in a couple of strike forces that has been the tip of the spear, the tip of the spear of SNA offensive against Al Shabaab. This has proven to be very, very successful endeavor, and we are very much grateful for that effort in the last decade or so. We have also improved urban security through enhanced intelligence efforts resulting in a marked reduction of terrorist attacks in Mogadishu over the past seven months. This has been also a new area that Somalia has shown improvement. Over the last six months, the government and its international partners have over 240 stabilization activities in the two states liberated from Al Shabaab. Stabilization was critical because of it is the link to both the state and the people. We've liberated people who have been denied access of any public service for more than two decades. So the Operation Black Lion is the second phase of the uh, war we are with within with Al Shabaab, the multinational forces that keep planning 
and operational expertise that are currently positioned at Joint Comprehensive Command. And so we're planning together. You know, start your team in the ground are also aware of that, and they have been invited a number of times in, the, in, the, in that headquarters, in that center of coordination. Of course, slight setbacks has been experienced due to rainy seasons and, uh, and, and, and due to rainy seasons mainly. We have advanced such a form through the establishment of active interagency task force that is developing sustainable and sustainability and affordability models for financing of our national security forces in the future. Our mid-term fiscal policy goal is for our current courses to be covered by our domestic revenue by 2027. Security sector expenditure makes up to substantial portion of the Secretary. Somalia has been in a unique situation, as I said earlier, and we are again and again very, very grateful for the support provided by the United States. Many issues that I have raised with you last time when I visited here are still, still standing, but so far we are so good and we are very much satisfied for the level of support provided. I thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, again, welcome to the Pentagon. I look forward to our discussion. Thanks, everybody.